Hello, this is the day the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome this morning. Psalms 23, we're going to look at Psalms 23, verse 5. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Last week, we looked at the uh, how God restores our soul, how God brings us in this, when we're in a dorsal recumbency position, uh, when we're laying on our back and, and we cannot get back on all four, the shepherd, almighty God, comes and lifts us on all four. Isn't it great to have a great God this morning? Well, let's not forget that God also today wants to anoint your head with oil. What does that mean? Well, the she uh, shepherds in the time that David was referring to, she the shepherds would create make mixture of, of myrrh and incense, and they would rub it on the sheep's head to protect them from these crazy flies that want to land. They would lay these parasites, and these parasites would go up into the nose and lay these eggs, and then these little worms would come out of the, their nose and into the sheep's head, and the sheep would get crazy, just it'd be itchy, and they would just have to find something or someplace just to itch their head. And so what would happen is these they, they would start finding like a tree po a tree or a post, and they would start rubbing their head, and oh, that feels so good. And then they would find sometimes another sheep. And the sheep would come along, and, and, and the two sheep would come along, and they would start rubbing their head on each other. Oh, that feels good. And, and, and before long, the whole herd could be infected with these parasites. What is a parasite? Let's look at that. Definition of a parasite. A parasite is an organism that lives in or on an organism of another species and benefits by deriving nutrients at the other's expense. What's it? What do we read? And benefits by deriving nutrients at the other's expense. God wants to do for you and I. He wants to anoint our head with oil to protect us from these flies that want to land on you and I. What, what are these flies? What, what are they? I believe these flies are really the words of other people. The comments of other people. The suggestions of other people. How does that work? Has anybody ever told you something? And uh, you're listening, yeah, okay, all right. And you go home that night, or you walk away. Sometimes as you're driving away, or as you're walking away, you, you're like, man, that, what did they say? That, that bothered me. Sometimes it's late at night. All of a sudden you wake up and you're like, man, what they were saying, hmm. Sometimes it's in the early morning, you know, they said such and such and such. What happens is these words begin to, as a parasite, we read, begins to derive the nutrients at our expense. These words begin to steal the very nutrients by stealing our joy, our peace, and what God has for you and I. They could be words of confusion. They can be words of conspiracy. They can be words of bringing down other people, bringing down what so-and-so is bringing down. And what happens is that we got to find when we wake up in the morning or when we're walking along, we got to find, we got to find a place to relieve this itching. So what do we do? We call somebody, we text somebody, we email somebody, we get around somebody and we say, did you hear, did you, did you hear what's up? Did you see? Did you see what the president said? Did you see what the governor said? Did you see what they're going to be doing? Did you see? And I'm telling you, it deprives the very nutrients of what God has for you and I. God has created us not to live in doom and gloom and despair, but Jesus Christ has filled us with the Holy Spirit. He died on the cross that we might have life and life of more abundance. Why are we allowing these flies to land on us, these words to land on us? Because the sheep, you and I cannot protect ourselves from these flies. They're all around us. What we need is we need a shepherd to anoint us. And today, God wants to anoint you and I. He wants to put a covering on. The flies are going nowhere. They're not going to go anywhere. The flies will always be around. But when we're under the anointing of God, it creates an environment. It creates to where the flies cannot land. They can't, you're not landing here. Why? Because we're under the anointing of God. 
There's no space. There's a protection between me and those flies, and it's called the anointing of God. And why is it the head? Because the head is the gateway to the rest of the body. The, the flies would know if they could just land in the head, lay those parasites, lay those words, lay those suggestions, just put a little thought in their mind that it will go up into the mind of that individual, into the body, and begin to lay those eggs, and they would come out, and it's going to irritate that Christian. It's going to irritate that believer. It's going to irritate that person to where they have to call someone, text someone, and they just got to get around somebody to say, did you hear, did you see? Stealing the very nutrients at the expense of our joy, at the expense of our peace, at the expense of what Jesus Christ Christ has created his church destroying us why because we're not willing to receive the anointing of God to so today I know those words are crazy I know those suggestions are insane I know it sounds so good to be true but let me tell you something this morning God is still on the throne Jesus Christ in his church is still victorious my God still heals. My God still delivers. My God is still on the throne. Why are we allowing these words to bring us down and bring such harm and steal the very nutrients of joy and peace and, uh, that God has for you today? So let me pray with you, can I? I want to pray for you. If you don't want me to pray over you and pray for you, shut this off right now. Just stop it. Go to the next video. Go to, the, go to the next words. Go, go to those, uh, whatever, whatever's out there. But if you want me to pray right now, I just want to pray for you. I want to pray over you. God, in the name of Jesus Christ, this person that is listening right now, they have faith. They've put their faith and trust in you. And God, right now, they've been listening to these words. And, and, and these words, uh, they've also been listening to the words of the enemy. God, these parasites that are just beginning to affect and overtake and steal the nutrients, God, from them. God, today I just pray this covering over them, Lord. That they would ask right now, that they would ask, God, that they right now would ask for this anointing to cover them through Jesus Christ. We pray. Amen. You know, what happens is this anointing wears off, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. The shepherd, though, never wear, never runs on anointing oil. The shepherd never runs out. The shepherd wants to continue because you know what? The shepherd wants to protect his church, wants to protect his sheep. Where is she? And so, you know what? Daily, I got to run to the shepherd and say, oh, God, anoint me. Anoint me this day. Give me this day my daily bread. Forgive me of my trespasses. Just forgive me uh, of, of these thoughts that I've had, Lord, anoint my head today, put a covering on me every day, wake up and ask the Lord God to anoint you through Jesus Christ. And you're going to see your day is going to be much better. You're going to have more nutrients. You're going to be more alive. You're going to have greater hope. You're not going to be in despair. Because why? You're the anointing of God. Be blessed.